Hi guys, it's a bright and sunny morning here in Bengaluru, and we at Gadi Ki are ready to bring you guys a new entrant into the 110 cc bikes category. Well, not completely new. Let me get you guys up to speed. Back in the 1990s, when the Indian two-wheeler market was still in its nascency, Hero launched a bike that went on to become India's most sold bike. That was the Hero Honda Splendor. Then in 2002, TVS launched a bike that rivaled the Splendor's supremacy. I smile when I'm with my friends. More smiles, definitely. And it was duly called the Victor. Now, with the new Hero Splendor hitting the market, it was on the cards that TVS relaunched the Victor. So the new TVS Victor is here to compete with its old rival, the Splendor. How well does it do? There's only one way to find out. Let's ride. Actually, I've had the bike for over three days, and I already know everything I need to. Let's ride anyway. Now the bike itself comes in six color variants, and the one we have with us today also happens to be the character color, and that is the bristle blue. TVS has also been kind enough to throw in the hazard lamps and the stub silencer. It's got a spacious seating, which has been designed keeping the family in mind. Another great new addition is the digital speedometer. The vibrant colors and the fancy headlamps almost make up for the average look of the bike. Before anything else, I love the fuel efficiency on this bike. I had the bike for over three days, and I rode over 270 kilometers. And only two out of the six fuel sticks were down, and that means that the fuel efficiency on this bike is very close to the 76 kilometers per liter that is promised, and that in itself is a commendable job. My next favorite feature is the handling. In a city like Bangalore, or for that matter, any city in India, handling the bike in traffic becomes a big challenge, and that comes down to two things: first is the weight, and second is the braking prowess. Weighing in around 113 kilos and having very responsive brakes, getting from work to home is a breeze with this bike. The next feature that really stands out for me is the power economy mode indicator. The bike is using its fuel efficiently. The green light is on, or else the light turns red. This is a very simple feature, but a great feature to have on a commuter bike. The blinking red light also reminds riders to switch off engines at signal. Now let's move into a segment for our grease monkeys. The maximum power on this bike is around 9.5 bhps at 7,500 rpm. When this is coupled with a 110 cc engine, it makes the bike almost comparable with a 125 cc bike. The torque is 9.4 newton meters at 6,000 rpm. This gives the bike ample power to perform on elevated surfaces. The bike has a four-speed transmission, but it's pretty easy to get used to. Telescopic front suspension and the five-step series spring suspension at the back is a great fit for a country like ours, where encountering potholes is almost inevitable. This, coupled with the tubeless tires, offers a comfortable riding experience. The fuel tank capacity of the bike is eight liters and includes a two-liter reserve. Last but not the least, we were able to achieve a maximum speed of 98 kilometers per hour. This is not bad at all. Considering that this is a strictly commuter bike, ex showroom prices for Bangalore start at fifty three thousand six hundred for the disc brake version and fifty one thousand six hundred for the non disc brake version. So finally, what did I think about the bike? Well, this bike did everything I asked of it: helped me through traffic, helped me get from home to work. It was the near perfect commuter bike with an excellent mileage. But what about the styling? If I wanted a bike for styling, I'd look elsewhere. But for commuting. This is what I'd go with.